Well, every reality TV show needs a villain, and the new season of My Kitchen Rules has uncovered a bedazzled baddie who's spicing things up in a big way. Jennifer Evans is being portrayed as the princess, and already the knives are out. So, can she handle the heat? James Thomas finds out. Um, um, um. Are you a ditz? Um, I'm not sure. And nor am I. But watch My Kitchen Rules and the impression you get of Jennifer Evans is hardly endearing. Where does that yeah thing come from? I say that a lot. I don't know. When are the cameras on you and people looking at you being quiet, waiting for you to say things, and you've got nothing else to say? I don't know what to say, so I say, yeah. When I look at the promo that Channel 7 cut together, it's pretty hard not to get the impression that uh, you are pretentious, mm -hmm. a bit of a princess. I don't know what the princess tag is all about. And then after that, bring Maxi. Rude. Day plant, it was quite salty. The potato got no seasoning and the sauce was reduced down too much, so it was not that fresh. But good effort. Yeah. And uh, just not even the best cook. I'm scoring your dessert tonight. A three. Uh, is that accurate? I don't think it's 100% real me. You in TV business, you know odd editors cut and paste things together. Yeah. What about all the good things that I said? They didn't show it. According to the Sunday Telegraph's entertainment writer Jonathan Moran, all good TV needs a villain. You've got to have these nasty characters. They're not necessarily nasty in their real life, but they have something or they say something that resonates and people relate to it. You know, Celebrity Apprentice had Denny Hines, yeah. Idol had Simon Cowell, right. and everyone's had Kyle, or had enough of him. But generally, we never tire of a little drama. There has to be conflict in reality TV, otherwise no one's going to watch. What's the point in watching something where everyone's sitting around watching the grass grow? I mean, really, you need to have some fighting, you need to have some drama. But don't feel sorry for TV's purveyors of bitchiness and bastardry. It's good for their career. Potato. She's getting out there and we know who she is, the princess. You know, it comes under her name on the, on the, on the supers there. So, you know, we know who she is. That's a good start for a show that's only just started airing. What now for you and your television career? Can you see one? Well... I don't know. Um, I want career in food. But first, she wants to win We're My Kitchen Australia. Rules. Of course we're going to win. With her Thai background, she has the cooking tradition to kill. But it's will her abrasiveness like count against her? My dad was a bit tough. To be honest to you, I don't really mind. I don't really care. People can say or think whatever they like about me. Yeah. As long as my friends, my family, my husband, my mum knows me, I don't really mind. She's a great girl. She's got a great sense of humor. Um, and she said we had, we had a lot of fun shooting together. It was, it was around the table. Chef and judge on the program, yes. Manu, admits it is early days, but says that we could all learn to like Jennifer and she has the goods to win. She's got talent, you know, and she, she wouldn't be on the show if she, if she wasn't good enough. But, um, you know... In the end of the day, she's got an opinion, she's got a point of view, and she's a, a great cook, she knows what she's talking about, so, uh, you know, she, she should be saying what she thinks. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the princess hit back.